welcome back to Vlogmas and welcome to my Christmas house tour. A Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. As much as I wanted to walk you guys through the process of me decorating like I did last year, frankly, we ran out of time and this took me a couple of days to get done. So I thought I'd just do a walkthrough. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys all the rooms that I decorated this year, from my dining room, to my foyer, to my formal living room, my family room, my daughter Anne's room, and our master bedroom. Also the hallway leading to the master bedroom. Also the kitchen. <laughs> As you can see, I decorated a lot of rooms this year, so I'm gonna share with you guys each and every one of them. So let's go ahead and start off with the dining room. This dining room space is my favorite area to decorate for any seasonal decor, you guys. It's just something about this long table that really gives me all the feels that I need. So you guys know I'm a candle fanatic, so I like to kind of go overboard with the candles and kind of creating like a little centerpiece. And it just really makes for like an elegant, nice, scenario for dinner. And the only thing I wanted to say about the buffet is that I think it's a great idea to kind of try and incorporate some holiday cards from the current year or the year before. It's a great way to bring it into the decor so they're not just in a shoebox somewhere. I definitely wanted to layer my old plaid runner with my kind of new-ish striped runner and I really like the way it came out, you guys. Definitely adds some dimension to the center of the table and makes the centerpiece stand out even more. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at the kitchen, right this way. Always have to have a nice little vibe going on in the kitchen, why not? I'm in here probably more than any other room in the house, so I definitely wanted to bring the vibe in here. Not too much, but just enough. And you definitely want to utilize the center of your island for some nice holiday decor. All right, now let's take a look at the dining table. For the kitchen area, I just wanted everything to kind of complement the family room, I must admit. So I definitely went with a wreath on the back door. I really love the way the plate settings kind of all came together. I kind of wanted to go with like a grayish kind of neutral color theme just so that it didn't compete too much with what was going on in the family room. So I just definitely added in some nice little delicate decorative pieces just to really tie the holiday vibe in. And I tried to keep it very simple. All right, you guys, now my favorite part of my Christmas decor this year is my family room, right? This Play. This is my favorite room in the house to decorate and entertain. I kept it very similar to last year. We went with the red theme and just incorporated a lot of the giant holiday figures that I love doing so, so much. And a lot of people ask me, what is my inspiration when I decorate for the holiday? And honestly, you guys, I look through a lot of furniture magazines during the holiday season because what you'll find is that they have professionals like staging those scenes and those catalogs and they look really really fantastic and I really love getting ideas from there I don't go on Pinterest I'd stay off of Instagram I look in catalogs and it's even better to get inspiration from like the high-end catalogs like RH or Pottery Barn and then you can go to stores like at home and home goods and buy the dupes and that's basically what I do you guys I try and turn my family room into a Pottery Barn showroom by copying and trying to find dupes from those holiday catalogs and the best time of day to film this holiday decor for you guys is when it's around dusk so that's why I wanted to wait to the day kind of went by a bit so that you guys could really get the vibes of the fire and the candles and everything so I hope you guys really loved it right across from my dining room we are standing in the foyer this is one of my favorite areas to decorate for the holiday because it is quite literally the best opportunity to really set the stage for the rest of the house because it is the first thing you see when you walk through that door as you can see here we have our big 12 foot tree this is the perfect space for that because our ceilings actually actually go all the way up about 22 feet. Also, we have this big picture window here that you can see right into the house and you can admire our beautiful tree from outside. So every night when we're pulling up to our house, we can look up and see our tree. It's actually a really nice treat. I usually like to focus on decorating using this mesh ribbon. It really helps to give your tree like that shopping mall feel. You guys know the shopping mall trees are always the best decorated because they're professionally decorated. It's also a really great way to fill in a lot of those sparse areas in your tree. So you don't have to worry about doing a whole lot of fluffing of the branches so honey I would highly recommend year after year using this mesh ribbon and honestly if you roll it up 
properly at the end of the season, you can use it the next year with no problem. So we definitely went with a red theme for the main tree like we usually do, but I had the idea to add in to the family room and the dining room these little miniature trees that I got from Menards. And I didn't want them to be red also because I felt like that would have been too much red. So I decided to go with more of like a gold and champagne kind of mixed metals look. And I really liked the way it turned out. To decorate them, I kept it really simple and just went with the mesh ribbon and I just added in some glittery embellished poinsettia picks and it really brought it all together. Now if you follow me this way, I will show you guys how I decorated the formal living room. My formal living room was not that different from last year. I just went ahead and added in a couple of extra holiday pillows onto the couch and everything else is pretty much the same as last year. You guys know I normally decorate the banisters with some garland and Christmas lights. I've decided it's really not my thing to have all of those lights on the garland. So we'll have to figure out something different for next year. But for this year, we're going with these lanterns. Kind of giving that enchanted winter wonderland village feel. I did use some of the garland as like a trim along the bottom step of the staircase and for some reason I was feeling it like I really wanted it on the floor and I think it looks pretty good with the little pine cones on there and it really complements my rug. Now I did a little layering trick this year you guys. I put my little Be Jolly giant ornament rug on top of a faux fur rug and I really like the way the layering kind of turned out. It made the rug look even bigger and better than before. Now if you follow me up the stairs I'll show you what I've done in the hallway. Come on. All right, this is my little console table that I purchased from, I believe, Wayfair. And I really love decorating this space seasonally. When fall comes around, I like to change up the look of it. And when Christmas comes around, I like to really, really deck it out. So I have my garland going around the mirror here. I have a nice family photo here that's also Christmas themed. And I also like to switch out the contents of my trusty vase right here. So I swapped out my fall dried grass for some pine cone and evergreen plant material. All right, now I want to show you guys what I've done in Anne's room, right this way. <laughs> so this is Anne's room, she's my five-year-old daughter, and although I don't like to do a whole lot in here, I do like to decorate this a little so that she can get into the holiday spirit as well. So I just went ahead and included a nice little plush blanket and one of her favorite books for the holiday. This belief pillow, I think I got it from Burlington. They have a really nice holiday selection at Burlington. I went ahead and popped this wreath onto her headboard similar to last year, just minus the Christmas lights. Real simple additions, you guys, just little things to really add the holiday flair to her bedroom. I really like tying back the curtains. That's definitely my thing. And it's a great way to incorporate some Christmas colors with Without going overboard. These little plush figurines were actually down in the family room last year but I decided to go ahead and put them up in her room since she really seemed to like them. Alright so that's it for my daughter's room and last but not least I want to show you all the master bedroom. Me and my husband's room okay so follow me this way. Okay before we go in you guys I always like doing this okay we got these nice double doors leading into our master bedroom so I love to have these wreaths up on the doors just really ties it all together. Alright let's go in. Welcome to my master bedroom. Over the last couple of years, ever since I've been really intentional about decorating my house for the holidays, I've been very adamant about decorating my bedroom. I think it's a great idea to decorate the area where you sleep. It's also the room that you use the most, so it's very smart to have this room be very festive. I almost always put up a tree and switch out my pillows for something really festive, and I love it, and so does my husband. You guys, the decision to start decorating our bedroom has honestly been the biggest improvement to my holiday decorating methodology ever. It's the coziest vibe, y'all. I'm telling you, like, being able to have the tree with the nice subtle lighting right next to the bed every night, you guys, it has been such a treat. I think taking a really delicate approach toward decorating really makes it more impactful when you're done. Just little pieces here and there, no need to overdo it or make it gaudy or cluttered, which is what I've been trying to kind of get away from for this year. All right, you guys, that's it for my holiday house tour 2021. I hope that you guys enjoyed and got some ideas on some things you can do for your holiday decorating and everything. And I hope you guys are having a great holiday so far. Hope you're enjoying Vlogmas. If you haven't checked out my other videos, I'm posting every single day this month. So I already have a few videos posted and we're gonna continue to post every single day at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. So join us. I have a lot more content to offer 
offer but I hope that you guys did really like this video just kind of giving you guys a tour I kind of didn't want to show you guys so much of the how-to because it was just too much like it took me too many days to do this so I was just hoping I could kind of explain a little bit of my decorating philosophies in hopes that maybe that'll help you guys as you approach your decorating um, if not for this year then next year but anyway I won't keep you guys any longer I will talk to you um, tomorrow Mwah. bye